Hello YouTube and welcome back to Africa and the inside of my car. Now, why are we inside my car? Well, I'm here with my fiance. She's a church. Church over there. And I, not being a church going person, I'm just sitting in the car. Now, why would the African Electron be making a video in his car? Not because he's bored, but because he got one of these a BP box. No, not really. It's a Geiger counter. Um, yeah, well, most of it was. It's a hodgepodge of various things, but I bought a kit on eBay from a gentleman called Imprexus. I believe that's how you call his shop. I'll stick a link down below to his uh, eBay thing and also his little blog, which is full of information about his Geiger counter kits. Um, basically, I'm not going to open this one because it's it's already quite tightly packed in there, but you get a board with a screen and you can also order a sensor, Geiger Mueller tube as they're more commonly known. Um, the kit is fantastic. I mean, I assemble it, well, assemble and run a little assembly plant here in South Africa that manufactures electronic components for the mining industry. Um, and as far as I can tell, this kit is amazing quality for what you're paying. The guy really took his time, designed something pretty damn awesome. Um, now, I've got an SBI-8 tube, I believe it's called. It's a mica end window tube. You can sort of see it under there. That's uh, it's actually one of those little sieves from to, to sieve out flour, just to try to keep it safe because the mica is very thin. So this tube is sensitive to alpha radiation, soft beta, hard beta, gamma, pretty much the whole spectrum. Although, as far as alpha radiation, you really have to have a source really close to get any reading. It's it's not a very thin mica window, which is kind of nice because the really thin ones tend to be fragile as anything. It can break if you look at them too hard. Now, um, the box I built myself. I laser cut some panels. It worked because we have a laser cutter. Um, inside here, yeah, there's a lithium battery, one of those uh, like ultra fire type batteries. I can't remember the name offhand. It's a, it's a Samsung battery with a little lithium ion charge protection board. There's also a TTL to USB converter so I can plug it up to a computer and also the sports serves to charge it at 5 volts. Um, the battery's 2600 milliamps and as far as I can tell I've run this thing on for like two days straight and it still runs. Um, I just want to go through a few of the features of this thing. Um, a good deal of the features are actually remote controlled. But if I put it that way, which I feel is quite a genius act because these things are like two dollars, if that, if you're buying them in bulk, and it does simplify like the amount of buttons you have to put on your unit. So I just feel this dude designed something pretty lovely. It's got a little infrared receiver, a little light that tells you about every count, a little alarm lamp, a little buzzer that beeps. Now just a few of the manual controls. There's two buttons here on the side. Um, this one, you press it three times, it mutes, which is pretty cool because the beeping does get annoying. Um, okay, there's a few other settings, like the amount of time it uh, averages for, but I'll go through how it works, just in case anybody's curious. Display period, milliseconds. So that's how long it collects data for before giving an average, I believe. Although I've only really started playing with this thing recently. Good heavens, how does this thing work again? Okay, wait, let me just reset it. Okay, now, while this thing's switching back on, I'm going to go into some details while I got this uh, previous video. I was a bit curious to find out how radioactive our local mine dumps are, because in South Africa we have a long history of mining gold, and our gold ore comes with lots of uranium ore and thorium and all those other things that issue from it and there's been cases in South Africa where people, well, the parts of the well, communities have had to be evacuated from basically dangerously contaminated areas and I just want to do some 
citizen science to try to figure out if any of the areas around me are so contaminated and also just because I always wanted one <laughs> and uh, well, for the first time I found one I could actually afford it looked like it was very well built um, okay so I'm just gonna run through the menu just in case anybody buys this thing log period that's how long it logs for so it gives you um, it's basically the amount of time it averages at to give you a count per minute uh, this is the conversion factor for the tube basically a tube has a different conversion factor depending on its size its sensitivity so that's how many counts per minute you get that's how you convert it into micro is servit hour now uh, the conversion factor yeah well it depends on the size of the tube and such but uh, it's different for every tube which is cool because you can just uh, you can just basically swap out the tube in this thing and you can set it up to be something else without turning any screws or little potentiometers or anything like that okay then next oh goodness i don't want to change that alarm threshold that's counts per minute if it reaches a thousand counts per minute that little light switches on That's just something it does. Dose unit, you can select dose unit in milli rank an hour. Let's see, micro rem hour, milli rem hour, micro servit hour. Okay. Oh, I like the micro servit hour. It's like the, mac the metric unit of things. Um, alarm unit, counts per minute, all micro servits, so. It'll, a lot, it'll trip the alarm if it goes over a thousand counts per minute, but you can set it that if it goes over like two microes v an hour, it'll trip the alarm. Okay. Look, the, the interface does have its its uniquenesses, but I mean, this thing, generally it works very well. I've had it freeze up once or twice, but honestly, who cares? Scalar, not too sure, not going to say exactly what it is because... Uh, I haven't gone through the paper and haven't needed it yet. Okay, again, it does that. It's bar graph max. There's a little bar graph here. Um, if it reaches the end of that bar graph, represents a thousand counts per minute. Uh, you can increase that to whatever, to Chernobyl levels if you want. So your bar graph only hits the limit when you're licking a fuel rod. Okay. Uh, okay uh, use rad logger. Now, the reason there's a TTL to USB module in here is so you can plug this up to a computer and use some radiation logging software. I haven't actually done this. <laughs> um, my computer picks it up and all that, but uh, um, my laptop seems to have issues talking to the TTL module. But look, I'm sure it's my own damn fault because uh, I'm not that computer savvy these days anymore. Fear of I've become quite... Uh, Quite useless in that department. I must really do something a bit more mentally stimulating with myself. Tone sensitivity, that's how loudly this sucker beeps. I feel it beeps plenty loud enough. I even put a piece of tape over the buzzer just to keep it a bit quieter. Regulator voltage, that's the input voltage. Um, the charging circuit or the battery circuit for this is a Lithium ion battery, uh, lithium ion protection and charging module, and a generally boost converter to 5 volts, which takes the battery voltage and steps it up to 5 volts. Uh, it works great. Okay, um, I think that would be it. Menu, there we go. And now for the fun part. Um, here's a mantle from one of those gas lamps from uh, many years ago. Well, I don't know many years ago, but it is old. And let's see some... <laughs> Look at it go! Now the reason it's doing that is the mantle's... Um, well, it's it's partly made of thorium very very partly of course it's uh, it helps give it a nice bright white glow apparently although I'm not too certain the scientific process behind that I've also got the source from a smoke detector 
that I cracked open. Now on this is a teensy, 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 absolutely microscopic amount of americium. Um, slightly an alpha emitter, so it emits alpha radiation for the most part, which the sensor can pick up if you basically... There you go, see? Way above average background. Now I've got to say, this, this thing is dude built, friggin' awesome. If you want a good quality kit, uh, dude is very friendly. Go out there, buy yourself one of these. Um, look, look, I paid the real market price for this. I'm not, I'm not marketing it for this oak or anything. It's simply, um, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to be taking this little sucker with me and my trusty phone camera. And we're going to go be looking if we can find some above average radiation sources. Ooh. Also, you might be wondering, there's a teeny little hole here, it just, so the light from the LEDs of the charging module can come out and basically tell you when it's charged. Um, I'm sorry I can't open this thing really, I'm in my car and it's very tightly packed in this box. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you for watching and uh, cheerios, please support this oak. Bye bye.